Hello, my amazing artists. Today, I'm going to show you how to take your basic color wheel and make it a little more exciting and interesting. So there are two steps to this project. The first part, we're going to um, be creating a color wheel using primary, secondary, and what's called tertiary colors. So um, we're gonna be adding that extra layer into our color wheel. And then we're gonna take our color wheel and we're gonna turn it into something a little more exciting. So the first thing we're gonna need in the middle of our paper um, is a circle. So if you have something circular that you could trace, um, a cup or something like that, okay, that might be helpful. I have this sort of piece of tape I'm gonna use as the center of mine. So I'm just gonna use a pencil and I'm gonna draw my circle in the center. Okay, and that's gonna be sort of where I build my color wheel. So in the middle of our circle, I'm gonna make a little dot and that's just gonna kind of help us uh, figure out where the center is and we're gonna divide our circle in half. And again, you don't need to make this perfect. Um, if you have a ruler, you can use that, but you don't have to. Okay, so I'm gonna divide it in half one way and then I'm going to go across the other way, kind of like dividing a pizza into four big slices. Okay, now each of these slices, we're actually going to divide into two more slices. So what you wanna do is go from the center to the edge. So each of these is going to become one, two. So each slice is going to be divided using two lines into three pieces. And again, these don't have to be perfect, okay? So we're just dividing each section into two and it's really important that you get the numbers right. They don't have to be perfectly even, but you do have to get the numbers right. Otherwise you won't have the right amount of slices in your color wheel pie. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose one to start with. It really doesn't matter which one you, you choose to start with. Um, and you're gonna use some sort of coloring tool. Um, crayons and colored pencils tend to work better for this because you need to have more variety of colors. Okay, so, and you can also layer these, um, so you can't really do that with markers. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose, okay? Any of the slices will do. And you're gonna color one in red, okay? And I bet you can guess which of the other colors we're gonna use next, right? We're gonna start with our primary colors. So we're gonna use red, blue, and yellow, okay? And uh, the trick here is to make sure that you're using the ones that are actually just the plain blue, so you don't want like blue-violet or, Right, so I can't put the blue next to the red. We need to get these in the right order. So you're going to skip every other one when you're going around and coloring. So the primary colors, right, red, blue, and yellow are going to be diagonal from each other. So in between, there's going to be three empty spaces. You count them out. Okay, if you count it wrong, you gotta do it over. So make sure you, you're counting. And then you're gonna do three empty spaces and you guessed it, we're gonna do yellow. All right, so you should kind of start with a pinwheel here. So you have red, skip two, blue, skip two, or I'm sorry, skip three, skip three. Okay, so it should be pretty even. Then you can go in and you're going to use your secondary colors, right, orange, purple, and green, okay? And remember, the colors need to go in between what makes them. So red and yellow make orange. So I'm gonna put those between and I'm gonna leave a white space in between to be sure that I'm leaving room for my tertiary colors. Red and blue make purple. So I'm going to fill in my circle here with purple. And blue and yellow make green. So I'm going to fill that one in with green. Okay, now it kind of looks like one of those candies that we love so much. Okay, now, <clears throat> if you do not have the tertiary colors, like I have a, a box of crayons here, it has 64 colors, so I know that I have all the colors, okay? But if you do not, I'm gonna pretend like I don't have them so that I can show you what to do. 
okay? I can take the two colors that I used and mix them on this paper. So if I go nice and light between green and yellow, I'm gonna do a nice layer of green lightly is the key. And then I'm gonna go over it with my yellow. I will get what's called, and you might just kind of have to play around with how much of each color you use. I should get what's called yellowish green, right? I'm just gonna color that a little nicer. Same thing with the blue. If I use my blue, and the blue is a little darker, so I'm gonna do blue lighter. And then I put on my green. Okay, I will get sort of that in-between color, bluish green. Okay, and it, it might be a matter of just going back over it. Now, if you have the colors, it is a lot easier to do this. Okay, so if you have them, then you can just use the color you know, straight from the back. So you can look at the box and see if you can find a greenish blue or a, right? But if you don't, I'm trying to show you that you can still do these things even though you have limited resources. So you may not have all the colors that we might have in the art room, right? But you can make it work. So again, blue and purple, I'm gonna mix them together on my in-between color. Right, there's my purple, and here I'm gonna do purple and red. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm just taking the two colors that I used on either side, right, and combining them. And this will work with colored pencils. It will not work with markers, right? If you're using uh, markers, you may not be able to get those tertiary colors, but. Right, and then orange and red and again the key is really going light on those tertiary colors and mixing back and forth right the lighter color you might have to press a little bit harder so and i'm gonna just kind of color my red a little darker i see i didn't color it very hard and again, my last one is going to be orange and yellow. And in between, I'm making a yellowish orange. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much as far as we get with our color wheel. Now, the second part of this project, right, is to add an eye to the outside of this. So if this is going to become our eye, right, we're going to start in the center, maybe with a pencil, I'm going to draw a circle and I really want to make it so that it's even in there. And I'm going to color that circle in. Maybe I even add a second circle, right? really using some pressure because I'm coloring over something else. All right, so now I have my eye shape. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm going to go, I'm gonna basically make a little curved line that comes out on both sides, right? On this side, I might make a little curl and again I'm going to go to the bottom of the eye and over right we're going to turn this into an eyeball now I got some crayon on my paper I'm going to get rid of that there now the key to doing this the right way right is or making it look real is to sort of go slow with your pencil and we're going to make the outlines and then we're going to add some shading. So what makes things look more realistic when we're drawing with pencil is the amount of pressure that we're putting on our pencil. So you may get a darker corner in your eye. And as you go in a little, 
it might lighten up. You can use your finger to smudge. And I'm gonna do the same thing in this other corner. You know, and these are just ideas that you can add to make your eye look more realistic, right? As we get older, we get more interested in, and again, I'm just gonna smudge that a little bit. We get a little more interested in how do artists make things look real, right? And a lot of that really has to do with how we shade and add shadows to what we're sort of working on, right? We talked about that a little bit with our cube last week, right? So you can add a little bit of a smudge to anything that you feel might have a shadow, right? So that might be the end of your drawing. You may decide you wanna add some eyelashes and those are just gonna come out Of that first line right you could also add a little shadow up here and if you're making those eyelashes a little more realistic they're going to be a little thicker on the bottom now don't get crazy with those eyelashes and make 9,000 right this is a close-up view right so each eyelash sort of is an individual being here it's its own line you could also add some smaller ones if you wanted to bottom that you could add an extra little eye piece on the bottom right these are all choices that you could make okay and there we have our basic color wheel eye